जी बिस्मिल्लाह कैसे हैं आप सब लोग तो कि आप सब लोग ठीक होंगे खरीद से होंगे हमने अपना दूसरा चैप्टर स्टार्ट कर दिया था एंड इट्स दी फोर वी हैव स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर टू बोट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डाटा प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डाटा में टैबलेशन ग्राफ डिस्प्ले दैन फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑल दी थिंग discussed uh, are we are going to discuss in chapter number 2 first of all we have discussed about uh, in our previous lecture about data data types uh, and main concern was about uh, in previous lecture and today's lecture is about tabulation and uh, you can see we have uh, types of table general purpose specific purpose the main content single double and manifold tabulation as you can see from highlighted area uh, these things were discussed in our previous lectures uh, then main parts of the table and we are discussing one by one like we have discussed about title and the general rules and criteria to describe the table what are the answers uh, that should one can gain from using the word the title you know means what where how classified and then then columns and captions and general rules or column caption <coughs> and box heads and uh, with the similar pattern are somehow the similarities as well in terms of row captions as compared to column caption we have discussed uh, these point one by one and now today we are going to discuss about the effect in our sand put notes and basically explanatory notes in corporate in the table beneath the title and below the body are called referentially notes and put notes <coughs> likewise ki jo hamare title ke niche agar hum koi detail add karenge jo wo referentially notes hain aur agar hum table ke niche or below the contents that we are going to represent or we can to add some details these are known as put notes likewise uh, we are going to discuss uh, they are placed immediately below the bottom line of the table above the source put notes should be placed as follows there are certain rules to use put notes or referentially notes uh, like uh, if they are referred to an entire column or set of column place them at the end of appropriate caption it means if we are going to use certain put notes for a certain column or entire column to so humne unke end pe inko proper caption ke sath add karna hai then if they refer to an entire row or set of place them at the end of the appropriate stub title likewise the columns at the end of the columns or if we are going to use for rows it means we will place them at the end of the stub title if they refer to a single cell in the table place beside the cell entry in the table uh, in the ta- body of the table so it means that there are three types of entries like columns tables or a single entry if they are uh, going to represent certain column or the total columns we will place them uh, at the end of or at the below of the column if they are going to represent in terms of rows or a certain row we have to add footnote at the end of the certain row or complete rows and if uh, footnote is just for a single entry single cell entry so we will place the cell entry uh, footnote beside the cell entry and the footnotes always will be in the lower case alphabet in closing and it means some info and uh, that's where i may other using certain symbols we have to Use the footnotes. Then source notes. Every table should have a source note. And source notes means there are always a source uh, or some kind of reference for any kind of literature or for any kind of data that we are going to use. So it means you have to place a source note uh, for your data representation. It is placed immediately below the table and below the Footnotes. 
इफ्रेमिंग के जो हमारा फुट नोट होगा अगर फुट नोट नहीं है तो टेबल के नीचे है फिर टेबल के साथ फुट नोट अटैच और फुट नोट के बाद हम सोर्स नोट्स को ऐड करेंगे द सोर्स नोट्स मस्ट इंक्लूड द कंपाइलिंग एजेंसी पब्लिकेशन डेट ऑफ पब्लिकेशन पेज एज दे आर यूज एज ए मेन्स ऑफ वेरीफिकेशन एड हो जाते हैं सो इन सोर्स नोट इंफॉर्मेशन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड इज द कंपाइलिंग एजेंसी then the publication date of publication or some kind of author names and their page number in turn cases of volume volume number book uh, uh, all these information will be included in source notes for the verification or reference uh, it means if someone is going to verify your data or check its validity going to check its validity it can be used as a verification or reference source so next uh, and most important one and body and arrangement of data the body of table is the most important for which contains the entire data arranged in columns and rows it means in terms of tabulation we have to represent our data uh, in certain number of rows and columns so it means columns and rows uh, and their combined uh, representation is known as body of the table A rough sketch enables us to have an idea about the number of columns and rows required. So it means uh, before going for uh, neat and clean tabulation, we have to prepare some kind of rough sketch so we can get the real picture of the tabulation. And arrangement of data is made by taking into consideration the basis of classification and the purpose of the table. So as we have discussed, always place uh, uh, the column. Or the rows on you know, prefer basis are you going to prefer those columns and rows which have most important one you know, information. Likewise, uh, in terms of university, first of all, uh, the student's registration number and their name are placed because these are the most important information. So other information can be according to alphabetical order you can place according to time of occurrence, according to location, according to magnitude, or anything that is important for uh, presentation. By a customary classification, classifying as men, women, children, or so on, or any other information you want to add. And spacing and ruling. Basically, spacing and ruling. The purpose of spacing and ruling is to just To increase the readability, increase the understanding of the presentation of data. The proper and judicial use of spacing and ruling enhance effectiveness of a table, and helps in separating and emphasizing certain items in it. Like thick or double lines are used for emphasizes and for spacing that item. <coughs> It means uh, spacing and uh, ruling basically increase the readability, increase the understanding of student of a reader or certain reader. So it means thick lines or double lines used for title, and then uh, thin line or single lines are used to separate column and row. Then there are certain general criteria for the body of the table. A table should be Simple. The first, the most important thing, table should be simple. A complex table, if possible, may be broken into relatively small tables so anyone can understand your concept, your presentation easily. Units of measurement and nature of the data should be specified in table captions in parentheses. Percentage should be clearly indicated as percent of total or percent of Of what and their total should be as shown as 100%. Always, the percent means the uh, part out of 100. Is the figure entered in the table are rounded off as we have discussed in previous chapter, chapter number one, rounded off set uh, significant digits. This should be indicated in the preferred notes or in the table of the zeros not to be entered. The zero and k after the decimal point zeros are. उनको ऐड करने की जरूरत नहीं माइनस साइंस आर द पार्ट ऑफ द टेबल एंड प्रोसीड द नंबर द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द पार्ट टू द होल शुड बी शोन बाय थिन आर 
as we ruling the items are the item or items to be emphasized should be placed in the most prominent position of the table it can be bold in letter uh, the uh, this one is say sample of our table oxide column caption stuff units body uh, there are certain number of rows and columns can be added in a uh, table then footnotes and so so below the table footnotes and beneath the footnotes there are source notes and as we have discussed in our previous lecture uh, a district is divided into two areas urban and rural rural to uh, total population of the district is 2,71,076 out of which 46,740 live in urban area so it means if we are going to deduct our urban population from total we will have rural population total male population of the district is 1,39,699 and that of urban is 23,083 total unmarried and married people male female this is the basic information because half of in the information is given uh, the remaining half you have to calculate by your own self like is the solution uh, so total rural population rural population is equal to total population minus urban population then female population total population minus male population because we have urban population as well and male population as well so if we are going to deduct uh, urban population from total so it means we will have uh, rural population and same as if we are going to deduct the male population from total population we will have female population then rural male urban female rural female married population of the district unmarried and all these informations uh, are the calculation you can calculate easily if there are some uh, confusion or any other question you can ask me okay then next one area uh, here we will add the title then these are the column captions these are the row captions column captions that are in the upper case um, but remaining the uh, sub column or the row captions are in the capitalized each word case so here we can add married and married total both genders for urban and rural then male married unmarried for both urban and rural and for next one uh, is for female married unmarried both for urban and rural areas So here is the total information. Like first of all, we have to concentrate on how we have to add the title. Then population of district A. District name is A by gender, by their martial status, either they are married or unmarried, and their residence. Like uh, they are living in urban area or rural area. So uh, there are two parts basically of title. they are separated by a column and there is no full stop at the end of the uh, title and our title is in upper case letters so you can go through the title uh, properties or characteristics then there is a best example population of district a complete information and the classification by gender by martial status and their residence then these are the both genders or you can add gender here male or female and total then district urban rural married and unmarried so this was all about the tabulation uh, and i am going to repeat this whole lecture again so you have a clear picture and i'm going to show you a presentation as well next we are going to now uh, our feet of lecture form a presentation
so statistics chapter 2 classification collection classification tabulation graphical display all these things will be covered in this chapter and now our main focus in this lecture is about the tabulation so everybody collects interpret and use information much of its medical and statistical basically this is the definition of data we are going to collect data from different sources My next one nature of that data time series special special temporal data time series being dependent upon the time special data means the data which depends upon the location and special temporal data both of the information will be given in the same tabulation or in the same data like time and place dependent the next one is the time series data is the collection of numerical values collected over a period of time or the time dependent data like Whilst we have year wise data, uh, we have a perfect example of your university. We can distribute or classify data in students' intake data on yearly basis. Likewise, we have uh, intake number of students in 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 2020. Next one, we have the uh, data, special temporal data. This is a uh, different states or the Indian provinces and their purple population data. Basically, this one is the special data, only depend upon the location. And this one is for special temporal data. If the data collected is connected to time as well as the day. So here is the places and uh, this one is for the time 1981 and 1991. So both of the information Special, uh, special and temporal place and time are given in a single tabulation. And categories of the data, primary data from a primary source, candy data from candy source like internal, external account sales, third government internet others. Objection, uh, objective of classification. Basically, we have been discussing previous lecture. It condensed the mass of data in easily uh, simulable form. So it means if we have a large volume, a large amount of data, we are going to represent in just a like summary of the data. It eliminates unnecessary detail. It still get comparison highlights significant uh, aspect or significant uh, values, significant lines of the data. It enable one to get the mental picture of the information and helps in drawing inference. It helps the statistical statistical treatment of the information. Like it means uh, by using classification technique, tabulation, uh, frequency distribution. The first one is the classification. Uh, we can result, deduct result, deduct a summary easily from a large volume of the data. And anyone can understand the whole idea or the whole data set in just less time and easily uh, understandable manner. Then these are just one types of classification we have discussed, quantitative, then qualitative, qualitative like easy, awkward, slow, spell, beautiful, how, confusing, ambiguous. And quantitative data is always intangible units, measurable units. You can measure in digits or numbers, or you can count. This is the basic concept of uh, uh, types of classification, qualitative and quantitative. The next one is the tabulation. Tabulation is the process of summarizing classified or group data in the form of the table, or in the form of rows and columns. So that the data can be represented, the whole data can be represented in certain number of classes. And likewise, uh, here is the distribution depend upon their age groups. And we have certain uh, age classes like 15 and below 15, 16 to 18, 19 to 23, and so on. All your student and all these information are represented in the form of a table. Preparing a table, table must have uh, information consisting of table number, title of the table. If there are more than one table, 
or uh, we are going to make a certain amount of tables in a, our data uh, or in our search then there will be a certain number of each and every table table number title of the table we have discussed in each and every aspect then caption our column captions are the column headings then stubs are row designation are row headings are row caption body of the table uh, then footnotes and the source of the data and model structure table number is the table number title of the table these are the column captions total body we can add total at the end or at the side of the table as well so types of the table was simple or one way it means the classification based just on a single criteria like number of adults and their occupation there is only single uh, dependent variable which is number of adults so it means if the classification is based just on a single criteria it is known as simple or one way table two way tables there are two classification two criteria for a classification, uh, there are two characteristics that we are going to represent in our table. 